Hey guys, what's happening? Check this out. Just came in from uh, China, obviously. And let's take a look. What is it? It is a, I'll say, the laser. This is a 15 watt laser, laser diode. I got this on eBay. Take a look. So it's supposed to be 15 watts, which is pretty crazy powerful. I'm actually even a little nervous just to fire it up. Yeah, because this thing could like instantly blind you. So, 15 watt, if you can see that. I mean, I don't know if it's really 15 watt or not, but kind of cool. Different than the other ones I've seen, this one actually has like an external cool. Came with an AC adapter. Wasn't expecting that, but alright, well okay. Let's see what we got going here. Yeah, a lot of warnings. That's good. I'm glad they have lots of warnings. This, thing, this could jack your eyes up and instantly. All right, so let's take a look at this thing. So you have your main unit and a fan, cooling fan. Then you have like this, I guess, power module. So this thing can be controlled either with pulse with modulation or uh, TTL. I'll go into more detail about that later on. Um, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I'm, I'm building that uh, a uh, laser engraver cutter from scratch. Okay, that's the power. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm a little nervous to fire this up. Just because it's supposedly so powerful. Yeah, absolutely no instructions or no, no manual anywhere. So, I'm assuming this would be, what the hell is this thing? Well, I'm going to try to find a manual if I can online, but, and this will obviously be the TTL, but if you look at that, the polarity is wrong, not right. Alright, well, I'll have to get into it and figure it out, but I have to figure out how I'm going to mount this to my, uh, my board as well to my uh, printer or my engraver. Yeah, and that's a little focus knob here. All right, cool. Get it going. All right, so it's been a couple weeks since I messed with this, but this is my uh, laser cutter build. If you haven't been watching my channel, I'm actually running old like 3D printer parts, like my old TFT32, and uh, this is a uh, MKS uh, Gen L board. Uh, this is very similar. It's basically identical to like a Arduino with the uh, ramps 1.4. All right, so I'm gonna put my laser on here, and this is where it's gonna go. I need like a test mount just to test this thing. So All right, I was gonna do a laser test, but then uh, something a little sketchy happened. Uh, as soon as I plugged this in, the laser came on, and uh, good thing I put my goggles on. But uh, yeah, that's not supposed to be like that. I mean, this thing should only be activated if you're applying 5 volts here to the trigger in TTL mode or in pulse width modulation mode. But I'll go in more detail in another video about that, how to control this thing. But yeah, let me put this on right here. I'm just going to plug it in. Nothing's connected to it, no trigger wire. And let's take a look at that. I'm going to plug it right here. It instantly comes on. So. That's a little nerve-wracking, you know? All right, so I'm gonna take a close look at this module and see if I can figure it out, but yeah, the laser works. But that's definitely, um, I gotta figure that out because uh, I need to be able to control the laser. So, all right. Yeah, like I said, no documentation, so. All right, so in pulse with modulation mode, it seems to uh, fix that problem, but yeah, that's still gonna figure out what's up with the TTL mode. So when I plug it in in pulse width modulation mode, it fires the fan up, which is a good sign. 
but then it would probably be waiting for a uh, pulse with modulated one kilohertz signal that I'd be triggering from this wire or that. It looks like either this wire or that little connector right there. But I do actually have a pulse with modulation tester, so this little thing right here I built a few few months ago it can, can do a low uh, low amperage pulse with modulation, or I can use like a frequency generator or whatever. All right, so this little thing right here, this little like look looks like a trimmer pot, controls the actual brightness too. Uh, if you wanted to manually do it, but uh, cool laser cutter. So if you saw this on eBay and you wonder what it, how it worked, all right, there you go. Cool. All right, next video I'm going to work with the uh, pulse modulation of the uh, TTL. See what's on the back.